Hold on, we gotta, we gotta start it like you did. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, Stan Smith from Iron Sharp K9. And Better Best Dog from Fit Bully TV. And we're going to be doing some intro decoy work today. So we got Lil Boot Main here, and we got Jamarcus, and we're gonna show you how to use a sack, and then how to transition from a sack to a beginner bite sleep. The main thing with a dog, especially when you're working them, is you want the dog to come to the bite. You don't want to be jamming it down their throat because eventually when they start going for the bite and they're coming up and you jam it back, their neck's going to get bent back, they're going to hit a brick wall, and the dog's not going to want to engage that man. So you want to make sure you're very fluent. Gotcha. You used to play hockey, right? Oh, yeah. I assume that y'all have reverse pivots. Oh, yeah. So it's just like that. Dog's coming at you, you want to reverse pivot whenever you catch them. So. We're gonna get boots started a little bit. Okay. And you're going to kind of hold it to the side. Got gotcha. you. So he can get it. Right. Ready, boots? Watch. Ready? Ready? Watch. 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 Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, so I'm gonna drag him in. Okay. And you saw the fluid. He swung him around. The dog hit. There was no impact. There's no crash. There's no collision. You want whenever you're working with the dog for it to be smooth. This is like a beautiful dance that you're doing. As a decoy, you are a sparring partner to the dog and it's for you to build that dog's confidence. That is your responsibility as a decoy to build that dog's confidence. All right, so this time I'm gonna let him go without the leash. Okay, perfect. Boop, out. Boop, my bad. <laughs> you're good. So again, he's gonna wanna absorb that catch. Yeah, the boy, watch. Watch. Ready? Yeah. Eat. Yeah, here we go. Come on. Get him. Just Listen. like that, he caught him, swung him to the side, and then he works him again. There you go. Good boy, Good boy, when he's working him, he's messing with his feet, he's petting his head, he's letting him know to hold that bite no matter what's going on. And this is just going to escalate as he gets older and more mature. When the dog goes through puberty, then you can start adding a little more stress and pressure on the dog. Again, you do not want to ruin that dog. You can push that dog far, so far back that it's hard to bring him out. All right, so now get it a little higher this time. Okay. So you want to make him launch a little bit. Gotcha. Watch him. Good boy. Watch him. Good boy. Watch him. Good boy. Eat. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get it. There we go. And we're doing this because we want the dog to know that they're going to go up and get something. In a real situation, somebody's not going to be like, hey, bite me here. They'll be like, oh, watch out. Get off of me. Ooh. So the dog's going to have to learn to go up and get those bites. Good job, boot baby. Good job, boot. Good job, boot. Good job, boot. All right. So you got your bearings with the, yeah. the sack. So grab that bite pillow out of there. Perfect. Up. So same concept, you're gonna give him a clear. There you go, okay. make sure that angle is where you want it. Right here. So him to come up to it, bite that. Watch it, watch it. Watch it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You ready? Yeah. Come on, eat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. go. There we go. There we go. Good. Yeah. So this is Boots learning how to do some different timing. He has to pick where he's going. He has to figure out how much energy he has to use to launch. And that's good. And Jamarcus kept moving around. Nope, you didn't get it that easy. Nope, you didn't get it that easy. Now he got it. Now there he's gonna go. work oh, for it. Boy. So we're gonna do it again. Boot out. Bam. Woo! Watch him. Let's go. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was good. And again, it's smooth. You want the dog hitting back on the ground. Now we're fighting again. Now we're working. As this dog gets older, you're going to make him miss. You're going to make him do different things. And you're going to make it harder and harder for him as he gets older and mature. It's just like sports. You start on T ball. The ball's sitting right there. Then you go to coach pitch, then you go to kid pitch, then they start throwing 90 miles per hour fastballs, and that's when we stop playing baseball at that point. <laughs> that's good. You wanna go one more? Yeah. Out. All right, so this time, put it on your arm. Got you. So we transitioned from holding it out to the side, now it's gonna be on your arm. So what you're gonna do is you wanna kinda give him one way he needs to go, and then just catch him. So this probably be like this. Yep. That'll be the easiest way to swing. Watch it. Watch it. Eat. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo, there we go. 
There we go. And when he's on the bite, let him rebite. So you see, there we there go. go. Good. There yeah, we go. want that back of the mouth. Eat. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good there job. Go. And then as a handler, I'm gonna come back, fool with him, mess with his back end, mess with his tail, pet his ears, all of that kind of stuff. Eat. Eat. Good boy. There we go. Because we want the dog to get desensitized to all of this stuff. It starts off very simple, very easy, very confidence building for the dog. And as he gets older, as he gets more mature, you're gonna start adding a little bit more stress and a little bit more pressure on the dog. Questions? Uh, no, I, I would say just as a decoy, am I the one also signaling you yeah. when it comes? Okay, so signaling when I'm ready mm -hmm. for the uh, the dog to be let, to, or let go. And you want to make sure everybody's on the same page because if not, you can catch a, a tooth. Uh, we were doing a scenario with yeah. with Jamil's dog behind the camera <laughs> and he sent him through the tunnel and I wasn't technically ready Ooh. and the dog came and I saw him so I tried to present whatever. He was too far, hit me right in the leg. It happens, we're playing with fire basically. I mean, as you can see last week, we caught a tooth. It's not an if, but when. Yeah. So you wanna make sure that you are as safe as possible when you're doing this. So that means everybody being on the same page. So one thing that we'll do is we'll raise our hand when you're ready. Gotcha. And that's when I'll let them go. And when the decoy tells you to let your dog go, let your dog go because they're ready. Do not go, oh, you're ready? Wait, now, oh, now you're not ready? Go bite them. <laughs> it's happened before. Yeah. Number one rule is a decoy. Always be ready to get bit. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, I'm trying to I'm trying to stay uh, bite free. Exactly. <laughs> you try to be in that Jamil category. Hey, so. Exactly. I'm trying to be up there. But let's do one more, and then we're just gonna let him win. Okay. I'll actually recall him back. I'll whistle off, and then I'll give him a reward when he comes back tonight. Yeah. Yeah, you can go down here. Right. You ready, Boot? Oh, you ready, Boot Man? Oh, watch him. <laughs> watch him. <laughs> oh, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> hey. There we go. Back him up more. Back him up that way. There we go. There we go. Get in. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Get in. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> so when you have a solid recall function, dog knows exactly what you're going to be doing. So that's a video for another day. We're going to talk about recalls. So. Technically, he should have stayed on the bite until I called him, but he's a puppy. He's learning, and I'm not worried about it because we got time. Take your time. Build the dog up. Stay tuned. Stay sharp. Take care of your dogs. Get